Good evening. Welcome back. The name of the program is Aliens. I'm your host, Robert Walters. Today, our very special guest is Gleemore from the planet Sebulon, located in the third quadrant of the galaxy Phasor 5. Pleasure to have you on the program. It's nice to be here, Bob. Uh, in the way of background, Gleemore, could you tell us about your planet? Well, as you mentioned, it's in the fourth quadrant. And uh, which means I said third quadrant, but well, that was a mistake. Then we're well, in the fourth quadrant. All right. Well, we're interested in some specifics about your planet and your lifestyle. That's what the program is. It's about uh, specific uh, alien life and how people exist or beings exist in other worlds. I see you have some objects here. Uh, do those come from your planet? Yes, these are a few objects that are uh, pretty uh, commonplace on our planet. First of all, well, what should we handle first? I think this one maybe. This is called a flashlight. Now, let's say you're in your domicile, your home, and you're in the den or something, and the mm -hmm. lights go off. They shut off your power for some reason or other. Uh, you would use this to uh, light your way and show your way in the dark so that you could maybe find that Twinkie that you hid under the bed mm -hmm. uh, and have something neat. It's, uh, it's a bulb, and there's battery in there, a dry cell, and this will uh, illuminate a dark place. Could, could you hit the uh, camera again with that? I noticed it gave a nice uh, reflection. Yeah, it will light things up. Yeah. These are known as sunglasses or eye shields. Mm -hmm. This is a reel for a, a tape player. You know, okay, and I'm confused on that point. There. Well, we, we better go into that next week because mm -hmm. it is fairly complicated, a means of uh, reproducing sounds and playing them back. And Well, you're, you're way ahead of us on that. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a tape dispenser, and I believe this is the kind that disappears, transparent tape, and this can be uh, affixed to, like, paper or uh, doors or... Well, here, why don't you show us? A... I can see it. It's sticky on one end, and on the other end, it's it's not. So that there, you can you can hold a piece of paper without actually touching it. You get enough of that? Okay. Yeah. Do you want that back? Um, that's about all I have. Oh, uh, this is a this is a belt. This is a belt. This is used to hold up our pants on the planet. Now, could you next combine I think this? Next week we. Combine these two? Well, I imagine you could affix the tape to the belt, and that way, let's see if it'll work now. That's a little heavier. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can hold the belt with the tape without touching your hand to the belt. That's very good. I never thought of that. It's a nice little variation. How about three of them? Could you work in perhaps the... Well, you can get the tape reel and uh, the sunglasses, maybe. There. There, see it worked for a while. It's going to fall off, I can tell, but that, you see. Yeah. And there's stronger tape. We have too. nothing like that here. Now this is a garbage can. When we don't need something, we put it in here, and as you can see, it's pretty hollow now. Changes the tone of my voice. Oh, that's interesting. So let, let's say Hello. That, Hello. Let's say that this was garbage. What you do is just, uh, just toss it right in there. And then where does it go? Well, it's collected by the garbage people, sometimes known as the sanitation department, mm -hmm. and uh, it can be taken away and uh, disposed of. Now, what, in, what do they do with it then? They either put it in the ocean, that's a large body of water, or they put it in the ground, or they can make uh, houses out of it, condominiums. How about just uh, briefly before we close the show, uh, communication? Oh, we have, uh, let's see, if two people on our planet wanted to communicate, what they would do is they would uh, cup their hands over their mouths like this and yell to the other person, Hello there! What's your name? And variations on that. What would the other person yell then? He might yell back, Hello! My name is Fred! Good. That's about it. Very we have a lot of sayings on the planet. Well, what, what would be a one? Cheaper by the dozen. Uh, we can go into these next week maybe okay. and explain them. Uh, Use only as directed. Well, Gleemore, it's uh, been a pleasure to have you on the program. We've learned a lot about the planet Sebulon. The early bird catches the worm. That's another one. Located in the fourth quadrant, I've been corrected, of uh, the galaxy of Phasor 5. Uh, it's been a pleasure again. Um, hope you have a good trip back. I hope so, too. It's really been nice uh, here on your planet. 
Okay, tune in again tomorrow for Aliens. I'm your host, Robert Walters, looking again at life on other planets. When the cold weather comes, we wear heavier clothes.